Hello everybody and welcome back to the Jake's Aussie Stuff channel and today we're going to be talking about the disappointment to be really honest that was uh, Western Park this year. Um, now two things to say before I get out of the way and go on to the actual stuff. Number one, this is going to be a mostly talky head video so um, the fact that um, the screen is black does not mean that your video is broken it's just how it is going to be possibly for some of the time depending on how I edit it. Um, and two, um, Based off the experience that has been on some of the Facebook groups, um, I may I may be greatly lambasted for how dare I say that it was worse than other years. Um, there, there just seemed to be a, quite a lot of a circle jerk going on where everybody's chucking it all over everybody, saying how brilliant it was. And if anybody says that it wasn't as good as other years, uh, they get lampooned and said and and get told that you know, well, if if you don't like it, you should try putting on a show because it's hard work. And with the, with the greatest respect. Well, I do have respect to the fact that you put on a show this year. It's better than no show at all. Um, but it wasn't as good as other years, and I've decided to talk about it. So, um, if you have your own feedback and constructive criticism to leave below, do. But any comments that are just people being arseholes for no reason will be dealt with swiftly. Um, so, as someone who goes down to Western Park as a day trip, mostly for the trade, I personally was quite disappointed, but for others, I can personally see why they would consider it an improvement compared to previous years. Um, this is the Western Park show in September 21, uh, not June 2021. Um, feel free to let me know below if you went to the June one and what it was like. Um, so, the trade stall numbers were incredibly reduced, uh, and the stalls offering tat brownies and the RAF recruitment um, outnumbering the proper trade stands. And what's worse, on the website they are hiding the lack of trade by still having the traders list from the 2020 show, um, which you might miss if you didn't read the small tiny print that says this is 2020. Uh, you'd think that a show that's had not only one in June but now advertising one in September on the front page would have updated all the pages, uh, especially as it got close to the show. But no... They didn't. Um, what I will say is very nice to see is that the the traders that were there, there was a lot of new faces. Um, the main ones that stuck out for me being iActive RC, who have some of the OMP hobby planes coming in, as well as HSD jets, um, which are the people who do foamy jets with turbines in them. Um, but there was a shame that there was no regulars. Um, I went there wanting Y leads, W leads, which are three ended Y leads, carbon fiber rod, C activator. Um, a couple of foamies I had on my list is like stretch goals. Um, I had servos and the sort of pump tank and other stuff for the jet. And the only person who was there was Al's Hobbies, and they were selling tat. To be brutally honest with you, I don't know why they bothered coming compared to what they used to be. It's ridiculous. Um, there was no Nexus. There was no Rapid RC where I got all the wire lead stuff from. No whites. Uh, there was prop guy, but again, he sells props, which I didn't need at the time. And I'll just talk to you about his propellers are brilliant. <laughs> um, so it's, uh, you know, it was a shame that, that all I came back with was some CA activator from uh, uh, Southern Model Craft. And from my understanding, he was more or less sold up not that far into Saturday. So whether we couldn't get stuff in or whatever. Uh, but, you know, I do like the, the Southern Model Craft guy. Um, he used to actually come to our um, swap meets from our club um, back when IC was the way to go before uh, electric electric was much of a thing um you know before lipos and everything and brushless um we used to pre-order our um uh model fuel for the year and you would actually go to our swap meeting we pick it up there i remember quite a few times going to the trailer of my dad and picking up a um you know it could be five or six or seven bottles for the year um so yeah it was nice to see the new people just a shame that the the regulars weren't there um the show does seem to be better for families, and even for me, in the fact that because of the lack of trade, they'd push the trade stand sort of back. Instead of having, like, if you've seen it before, there's, like, two U-shapes facing away from each other. Um, but because there wasn't, they just kind of diagonally cut them across. Um, what that means, there's a much larger area to view the show. Uh, you weren't all crammed in, which I guess is another consideration with COVID going on and stuff. And uh, also means that you don't have to crank your neck so much. Um... Uh, the show itself was good as well, because there was also, while there was Eurasia Aerosports, which was the Horizon Hobby display team and stuff, there was a lot of stuff that you could actually go and buy. So, uh, there was, it wasn't just all sort of really expensive jets and uh, the scale models um, that take a million man hours to make. Um, yeah, there was the less expensive jets from HSD Jets, and the amount of people inquiring about jets, possibly for the first time, um, in HSD Jets' tent, um, 
was great to see. Um, also, possibly it's the first time it's the first time I've looked to be fair, um, but the first time we can actually buy a jet engine from a show. It was a hundred pound off of their normal price for the um, Swewin eighty, which is about seventy five pounds off of the cheapest price I've seen because Kings Lynn are about twenty five pound cheaper than them standard. But it does make me think that maybe you know when I do get to buy a jet because I actually went there to buy one. It wasn't quite enough of a discount for me to get one because there's a few things going on at home I need to think about. Um, but it was it was something that I was interested in. One massive thing that disappointed me and my dad massively, a massive travesty, was there was no donuts. They do the like craft fair style, like fried in front of you donuts, um, not the Dunkin' or Krispy Kreme style. Dunkin' is better, by the way. Um, donuts. Um, so that was a massive shame. Still had ice cream. It was nice to have an ice cream. Um, the main thing that got me aggravated, and it was kind of annoying at the start, and then when I've come home and looked at things, it's made me angry. It's pricing of the show, um, because in my eyes it was a bit of a scam. Um, all of the advertisements that were put out, um, both on the website, Facebook, different things, um, was uh, the cost for adults was fourteen pounds. So I actually um, got thirty pounds out of my wallet. Um, that's what I sort of budgeted for it. Um, I put it in like the little cup holder in the van. I went with my dad, so it's two adults um, to pay on the gate. And then we actually got there. It turns out it's twenty pounds each. Um, and then when I've come back and looked online, um, not very obviously, the £14 fee was an online pre-purchase only fee. Um, if I remember, I'll try to edit in here, but if you have a look at the ticket, at the ticket page of the website where there's an advertisement, um, there's, white te- there's some white text in the top right that talks about great value online booking for camping, which makes sense, you know, we need to schedule that a bit more, uh, but the red circle advertising the prices for other types of tickets is very much separated because of that uh, red circle, um, so y- you could see why people didn't realise that and thought that £14 was the standard price. Um, to add a little bit of extra insult to injury, when we got there, um, whoever the, the lady that was that were doing tickets, you know, there was a f- few of them there, uh, they said to us, two adults, and we went, yes. Um, we did say, we'll have to buy loads of stuff at that point, saying, you know, to make up the £40 difference, because normally, in previous years, the discount that we get off of stuff easily pays for the tickets. I mean, when I bought that um, Kiki uh, Flex Innovations Yak, I got like... Um, 75 nearly 100 quid off so two tickets back then were like 18 pounds each they are easily paid for and all of the other stuff as well you know he's easily made 100 or, or more discounts so it paid for the tickets um so yeah we got there and um, they said uh, two adults we said yes handed over the 40 pounds had to get another 10 pound out of the wallet um when we got home it turns out you can get a family ticket family ticket is two adults and three children for 35 pounds now, this was not an online-only price, as far as I know. So, even based off of that, we overpaid by th- uh, £5. Pounds. So, um, that was annoying. Uh, and not only is, was there no need for that price increase, because, as I say, the, the, the 29 previous were about £18 pounds ish um, It's a bit predatory to me in the current climate. Um, because in 2019 and previous... Even if we'd have had a cold or something, we would have probably still gone. So if we could have saved, you know, twelve quid by pre-ordering, we would have done. And I know quite a few people who would do that previously for um, camping. Um, I know that they would also sometimes um, offer it for free if you'd flown there previously. And a few people from our club had done. Um, but in 2021, um, we we are out of the main restrictions, but the, the COVID is still here. Um, and considering, especially in the UK, um, we can get a ping at any moment where we have to isolate for uh, seven or however long it is days. Um, it seems a bit predatory to have such a uh, have such a cheaper price to try and get pre-orders in. I could see why they did it in the June show if they did it then, because in June we were still under restrictions for numbers. And that, that show in June was also only for camping mostly, right like three or four days before... Um, they actually opened it up to some day trade people, but again, I think you had to pre-order the tickets, um, and also, I may or may not be correct on that, um, but also for me personally, I didn't have the, the time, you know, my, my work is a a minimum of a week's notice, if not longer, um, depending on how busy we are, um, so it was, it was a 
I couldn't have gone anyway. Uh, but I can understand with that one, the pre-ordering, because we were still under restrictions for a certain amount of people per event, I can see why they were doing that, because they didn't want loads of people to go down there and then have to turn loads of people away. Uh, you know, if we, you know, I mean, we drove an hour and 45, two hours, obviously depending on traffic, to get there. Would have been pissed if we'd got there and had to turn straight back around and gone. Um, so, yeah, in, in 2021, after COVID... The fact that they're trying to lock you into a pre-price when there isn't a, a um, limit or a restriction on the amount of people there is a bit predatory. Because I'm sure that if you'd have got pinged, rang them up and said, hey, I can't come because um, I've been pinged on the COVID app, I bet you wouldn't have got your money back. Um, that's the reason why I decided not to do it, because I thought either the government are going to lock things down again, or sod's law, that's when either me and my dad will get COVID. Um, we, ha- we have both been double jabbed, my dad's been for a while. Um, I had my second jab at the end of August, I'm recording this on the 9th, so in five or six days time, I've done my two weeks, um, I should be roughly fine, um, so yeah, um, in terms of pricing of tickets, it's a little bit, just, pfft, I'm middle fingering the microphone here, it's, it, it was a shitty way of doing things, they, they put the prices up, possibly to try and cover some of the damage from the not being many traders, um, that could be the only reason why I would suggest they do it, because I'm fairly sure that the likes of Western Park, the, sh- the, the, the the house, would have quite enjoyed a big event coming back to them to, 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 to bring people in, because I know that you know some of the, the wives and people who may come down with their husbands will go and tour around the fancy house. Um, so I'm sure they wouldn't have been too, too upset about it, um, and getting some money instead of none is better than what they probably got the year before. Um, and yeah, from the seventeen or eighteen pound of last year, it certainly wasn't worth the twenty quid a ticket. Um, I know it's a show, not a trade place, but the way that we've always the tickets is that the tickets were basically free because of this guy's what you bought. Um, even for example, the carbon rod, um, I ended up paying about eight pounds to have that delivered because I needed it for uh, for a plane. A plane build was halted while I got this carbon rod. Um, it was about eight pounds to have it shipped because it was meter long lengths and it had to come in quite a big package. That eight quid for a twenty quid ticket, fine. Um, another thing is activator. One of the reasons why we hadn't bought any or, or CA kicker or whatever you want to call it. The reason why I hadn't bought that is because of, of it being a restricted substance would would have cost another sort of like eight quid to to have it shipped because it had to be sent with certain carriers to deal with bigger stuff and not raw mail and blah 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 things like that. So the fact that a, it was cheaper because I think it was um, ten pounds to like twelve. I think it was on the or something like that. It was like two pound cheaper, and also the fact you have pillars of shipping. If I'd have got the carbon rod and the activator, it would have paid for the tickets or or one ticket. Um, so you know that's that's just something to sort of you know it's all right saying pounds or dollars or yen or whatever it is, but when you put it into terms like that. Um, it's sometimes a little bit easier to understand why, you know, a price increase of two or three quid um, for a show of that quality was not worth it. Um, it was a lot nicer for families, as I say, because of the bigger areas and the fact that there was more of a show on. Um, what I think might be nice one year is if um, my mum and dad went down, I mean, my missus went down, uh, maybe we could, uh, me and the missus, stay the night and see the night show. Um... That could be a, a, a possibility. Um, again, to go into like a last uh, words and like a, a summary because I want to try to keep this below 15 minutes if I can. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to keep a September show or not. Supposedly they have announced the dates of next year of 17, 18 and 19th. Fingers crossed things don't go back anywhere and that's fine. Supposedly in the UK you might have a small thing in the winter. That was fair enough. But other things, Blair. Um, what I have got in my sort of like notes here is make September show more of a family day and make June more of a flyers day um, and charge reach f- uh, fair, reasonable prices and bring back the donuts. They're my ending thoughts that I was going to leave. Slightly different ending thoughts. I presume they're only going to do the June show only. I think a lot of the traders will be back for that and it'll be back up to the full strength. Um, I would say that if they could somehow rejig the show to have, you know, two or three times the amount of traders, which there would be, but also keep that big area at the front somehow, if they move the whole show back a bit, 
that would be fantastic um because you know i even sat down just to be honest with you it wasn't we got there and i realized it was like 55 minutes after we got there and we'd done everything we'd had an ice cream we have ice cream and donuts no donuts we'd had ice cream we'd had a look we'd sort of been around everything once i think we stayed there for another like hour and a half two hours at the max uh, you know three hours for the whole show which is a lot less than normal because it take, took us you know three and a half four hours of journey time the fact that we stayed less is is quite not good as i think we left about two and i'm gonna leave about three four five um but yeah um if they can have the 2019 show uh the 2019 traders um but with the better layout and the better show then that's great um i might i'm gonna go back to a point that i made before because i may have skipped over it a little bit you know, so in the show, you did have your big AZ Aero Sports jets. You did also have um, your... Um, it wasn't much scale stuff. There was a, the odd scale bit, but it wasn't like the Dawn Patrol was there, boring everybody to death. Um, um, there was the Caribbean Fun Fighters have been there before. I wish the Aviacraft guys would go back again. I love the Aviacraft guys. Um, so there was sort of that for like a 95 quid kit. Um, but there was also some of the Flex Innovation stuff. I'd really like to see next year. If somehow you're listening to this the aerobatex guys aerobatex is how it's spelled aerobat and the letter x to actually have a stall there please and not just be um displaying have a stall there um selling stuff even if it's a case of because some of the stuff is quite big having it um like sent from the show at least offering discounts and selling stuff at the show is good um i active rc again it was nice to see them there a company i'd never heard of i have their little 10 percent off business car ticket thing here um they have some of the omp hobby stuff so like the big horn that you may have seen um i was gonna, there was a joke that i might ask my missus to buy that for me um you know stuff like that being now in the uk so you have to pay extortionate bang good prices um is quite good so hopefully was this show worse than other years yes was it better than no show at all yes is there some of the changes that were done to the show I'd like to see in the in the um, next shows going forward? Yes. Would I keep going to Western Park if it kept being like the show in September this year? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't bother. Um, but hopefully, they, those are my thoughts. Um, I normally try and do a video every year when, when the show is coming up. It's really the only show that we go to. Um, Wings and Wheels is a bit too far away. It's down like at the M25 level, so where I live up near uh, Sheffield rough area up there um it's too far away um there was also long marston but that's been stopped because i think the ref base has been turned into houses what seems to happen with all of them um so yeah, it's really the only show that we go to um there are some others that i'd be considering going especially if i like i got everything for the jet and i just needed to, and i thought well, let's go to the show we'll, we'll, we'll pay the you know it's a nice day out so we'll pay for the fuel um, you know, we'll pay for the ticket and get a little bit off of the jet. Um, yeah, I guess the last opening uh, or, or closing statement I'd say is that it was nice to be at. I only saw two people wearing masks, um, and it's an open air environment. Um, we, because there wasn't any rain or anything, we weren't all crammed in. I did take a mask with me, mostly only to wear. Uh, now, and you got to remember, Dad's double jabbed ages ago, so it's fine. And I've been double jabbed fairly recently. Um, Bear me a second, I'll, I'll finish this point. Right, apologies for that um, slight break. I will keep this as short as possible because I'm going massively over the time that I wanted to spend on this video. Um, this was really going to be done as YouTube shorts, by the way. We have to do it in one minute. That wasn't going to happen, was it? Um, as he passes, well, there's a break there, obviously, but it's 22 minutes on the recording. Um, the closing thought for me, really, is that this is the first time I've been out publicly as like a holiday or day out possibly since western park 2019 i've been flying and stuff since but what i mean is that it was with public and with strangers um you know because i, I have been away but it was always kind of for like meals and a night away with missus or it was a night away with my parents to go and visit family um but it's not been like out in public like visiting a beach or anything like that this is the first time it was a public thing i did bring my mask with me the idea for me was more it's there if I need to. There may be some store holders um, who do like that. To be fair, there was only really two fully inside um, traders. That being Slek 
and HSD jets. Most of the others had like the store inside and you approached the front so you were outside all the time. Um, but they also seem people seem to respect people's space and stuff with inside the, the, the tents. Um, I only saw like two people running around with stuff on. That's their own decision. I wasn't going to chastise them or anything for that decision. It's completely up to them. Um, as, as I say, for me, I brought mine with me so that if it rained and everyone was piling into tents, because uh, that's not that that's crammed and not very nice. Um, even in the best of times, not when there's not when COVID's happened. Um, so I decided that I'd, ha I'd have it for them. But that's about it. And um, also, of course, if we need to stop to and from on the way for a toilet break or anything. I got it for going in welcome break or wherever we'd end up going. Um, but anyway, this has been the sort of long rambly video um, of Western Park, September 2021. I'm glad it still happened. It wasn't as good as it is previously, but it's fully understandable. And I fully appreciate the um, the bishops and whoever it was who um, organised putting this on. Because uh, otherwise we would have had fuck all. And uh, this was better than fuck all. Just it wasn't as good as other years. And people need to not pretend that it was as good as other years. Um, but they can respect that it still happened. Uh, but I'm going to leave it before I ramble on for another five minutes over some shit that you don't care about. Um, but I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>